Slav, I'm Ahmed, co-founder and CEO at Padash. Alongside three friends, we initially launched in 2021 with a different offering that reached 1.5 million people and had 700,000 monthly active users at its peak, working with more than 100 restaurants in Iraq. Through this experience, we discovered a more critical challenge facing the restaurant industry in Iraq, the lack of customer data collection and analysis, which severely hinders the restaurant's ability to effectively communicate with and retain their customers. As a result, we decided to go after this bigger opportunity and pivoted to Padash, which I look forward to introducing to you today. Hello everyone, Hello. I'm Ahmed, CEO and co-founder of Padash. I've come here from Erbil, Iraq to present to you our startup. Businesses that use customer analytics can actually have up to 93% higher profits, according to McKinsey. 93%. But Iraq's $2 billion restaurant industry is missing out because they lack the tools. So we're here to provide them with what they need to be data-driven. This lack of data is resulting in a potential loss of $350 million annually for this industry because restaurants don't know who their customers are. They don't know when or why they lose a customer and they don't have the tools to bring back lost customers. We solve these issues with Padash, a customer relationship management platform for restaurants composed of these components. A digital menu, which can be accessed by scanning a QR code on the table. This is where we start tracking the customer. A digital loyalty that collects their phone number, a dashboard where we show the collected data to the owner, such as his top customers, retention rate, lost customers, and then a communication tool that allows him to bring back lost customers by sending them offers by SMS and WhatsApp. All this in one platform can help them increase their revenue by up to 25%. We tested a prototype with three clients. They all loved it and all three signed up for the finished product. Then in just four weeks of sales, the past month, we got 10 more pre-orders signed at a total value of $12,000 and we have 15 more deals in negotiations right now. We start with a risk-free trial, then we charge an annual subscription, a SaaS model. The price ranges from $1,200 to $3,600, depending on the number of tables they have. We found that this was the most acceptable model in our market. We actually tested it a lot. The MENA region has more than 300,000 eateries. 300,000. Iraq has 23,000. And they spend $2,000 per year on this problem, putting the market size in Iraq at $44 million. Our initial customer profile, the initial segment, is 8.5% of this market, so $3.7 million. By the way, Food and beverage is only our first target. Since we're essentially making a CRM system for physical retailers, we, our next targets are going to be uh, beauty centers, medical labs, clothing stores in the future. Currently, we're targeting medium to large size restaurants and cafes. And because we've worked with more than 100 restaurants in our, in our previous startup, we know that the combination of successful local case studies and free trial does wonders in Iraq. So that's what we're going to use in a combination of offline sales and digital sales. We have two main competitors in Iraq, Mind Menu and MyNew. And as their names suggest, they're actually more focused on menu than data. So they lack major reports in their dashboard and major data uh, features. Moreover, our agile in-house tech team responds to market features and changes the product, while our competitors' products have more or less stayed the same since their market launch. We also have same-day customer support, which our clients love. And some of them said that this is one of the reasons they're converting from our clients due to the lack of support on their side. Finally, only Padash offers communication tools to bring back lost customers. Three months, four months ago, we raised $125,000 in our pre-seed funding, and we're honored to be the first startup to be invested in by Plastics Labs in Iraq. And it was to develop, test, and validate the product. We did, and in three months, we're going to launch in the north of Iraq and target 150 clients. Then we're going to expand to the, to the central and the southern parts of Iraq, a six times bigger market than the north, and that will allow us to reach 500 customers. So by 2025, we should reach $1 million in annual recurring revenue. This is why we're raising $360,000 in a seed round, more than half of which will be spent on marketing and sales to reach those milestones on, in, on the roadmap and empower the industry with data. We are four co-founders. 
We've known each other for five years now, and we've been working with restaurants for two years, so we know their needs and wants intimately. I have seven years' experience in business and product development, and I am the CEO. Mohammed and Umar each have five years' experience in professional software development, so all the tech is built in-house. And Ahmed Baiz has a sales background, is our sales manager. There is a digital revolution happening in Iraq right now, and there's massive opportunity for early movers. We're super excited to be part of this revolution, and we invite you to be part of this journey with us. Thank you.